Hey there, I'm the Lukey MC, and today we're gonna be fueling my crippling obsessive consumer mind by unboxing and reviewing a $1,000 mega haul of Godzilla merchandise that I've acquired over the past few months. Today we got five items, and I'm gonna be unboxing and giving my opinions about them right here. And let me tell you, that most expensive item is the holy grail of Godzilla merchandise. So stick around until the end of the video to see what it is. And without further ado, let's get that sweet, sweet release of dopamine from opening plastic dinosaurs because it's unboxing time. Up first, we got the Mezco Toys Destroy All Monsters Round 1 Deluxe Box Set. From what I understand, Mezco Toys is new to the Godzilla franchise. Or rather, I've only just started seeing their Godzilla products pop up on Big Bad Toy Store. This box set is one of two sets from Mezco Toys Destroy All Monsters line. For around $80, you're getting exactly what the description says. Four beautifully sculpted 4-inch scale figures of Godzilla, Rodan, Angus, and BBC Mothra from the 1968 Destroy All Monsters film. The box is covered in cool artwork of the kaiju from Destroy All Monsters. I don't know what it is, but I love boxes that look like this. It gives the product more of a vintage feel. Opening up the box here, you can see that each kaiju have their own section in the clamshell. Yes. With interchangeable heads, arms, respective accessories, and base plates. Starting with Godzilla, the paint and sculpt is spot on to the suit that appears in the film. He comes with an extra roaring head, closed hands, open hands, and an atomic breath piece that plugs into the roaring head's mouth. <laughs> He's meant to be displayed with his foothole attached to the peg on this base plate here, but it's not necessary. His neck, shoulders, legs, and tail are on a swivel and can be turned all the way around. Next, we have Rodan. Definitely the goofiest looking figure in this box set, but regardless, it stays very faithful to the Rodan suit that appears in the movie. <laughs> Up next is Angurus. I don't know what happened with the production of this guy, but the paint is very sloppy on the back and the open mouth's teeth. Finally, we have the Mothra larva. Unlike Godzilla, Rodan, and Angurus, Mothra barely has any articulation. But besides that, the paint and sculpt are great. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with painting something that essentially is a literal piece of sh** with eyes and a mouth. She comes with a nice white splooge effect that plugs into her mouth to replicate the silk attack from the films. And it can also be used as a maraca too. For the next figure, we have the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2004 from one of the best Godzilla movies, Godzilla Final Wars. It wouldn't be a Luki MC collection video without SH Monster Arts. I got this figure for around $100 at G-Fest last year. I opened it there right after I got it and then put it right back into the box to store. But spoiler alert, this thing is a disaster. Taking him out of the box, you can already see how this is not the best SH Monster Arts figure. Pretty much every single joint pops off when I move it. I was very disappointed when I first opened this because I really wanted a good Godzilla Final Wars figure to use for stop motion, but this ain't it. Is it worth $100? Absolutely not. Even if there were accessories, which this figure has none, I still would not say it's worth $100. Here he is next to my foot. Five out of 10. SH Monster Arts has really been dropping the ball lately, but you know who isn't dropping the ball? The usurper of the MonsterVerse figure throne, Hia Toys. With the new Hia Toys Godzilla King of the Monsters exquisite basic articulated action figure, they not only catch their balls, but rub them all over SH Monster Arts' stupid overpriced face. This Godzilla figure is the definitive articulated MonsterVerse Godzilla figure, and is a must-have for any collectors who want an accurately sculpted and beautifully articulated MonsterVerse Godzilla figure. I got this bad boy over at the Big Bad Toy Store for around 50 bucks, and what we get here is a figure that's bigger, better, and cheaper than SH Monster Arts. Not only that, but they're also making every MonsterVerse Kaiju. Take my f***ing money now! <laughs> it's beautiful. Perfection. Here's a Hia Toys Godzilla figure next to a photo of every MonsterVerse figure that it's better than. Okay, moving on. Now we're ramping it up. Here we have one of my new favorite pieces in my collection. Real books with words are for betas. Ew! Real Alphas read the Showa era Godzilla Criterion collection with cool pictures and awesome monsters. Mommy won't let me read this one at home. I've actually been meaning to buy this ever since it came out in 2019 and I never got around to it. But thanks to this strange 40 year old sugar mommy I met through DMs, I was able to get it for free. The Criterion Collection is a must have if you're a Godzilla collector. For $200, you get this huge art book full of amazing and unique artwork for all 15 Showa Godzilla era films with a neat description of each film 
beside it. It's hard just to choose a favorite because all of them are so different and equally amazing. But if I were to choose one, it'd have to be my OG Godzilla movie, King Kong vs. Godzilla. But that's not all. When you flip to the end, there's a two-page spread of Godzilla destroying Tokyo with all 15 Godzilla Blu-ray discs remastered in HD quality. I'm currently watching them in order every Friday on my live streams as I'm filming this video. Definitely not one of the coolest things I own in my collection. 10 out of 10. But this is nothing compared to the final item we have to unbox here. But before I show it off, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Godzilla or stop motion content. Okay, let's see the final item. Behind me right here, I have the holy grail of Godzilla merchandise. Only something that Godzilla fans with a refined taste in the arts can enjoy. Let's see what it is. Right, I'm talking about the $500 Godzilla Showa soundtrack vinyl record box set. Looks like the Lukey MC was a good boy this year because Santa came to town and squeezed his fat ass down the chimney to deliver the sickest shit on the planet. I've never really been into vinyl records, but god damn does this change that. This massive box set contains every single Showa era Godzilla soundtrack composed by the masterful genius Akira Ifakube. The box is actually a cover for another box underneath. The front of the second box opens down to reveal a preview of all the albums. There's also a custom Godzilla record protector thingy and a cool artwork of Rodan, Jet Jaguar, Minya, and Mothra. And behind that, we have every soundtrack from the Showa Godzilla films. Each film soundtrack has its own album cover, with a uniquely designed vinyl record inside. Some even have two records just to fit all the tracks. Let's hear how they sound on this record player. Oh yeah, that's cool looking. Okay. Okay, so, do I put it, how far do I put it? Uh, where, where do you want it to start? I don't know. It goes here. And I'll put the on button. Okay. can't even put into words how cool this thing is to have. I think it's so cool that I now have every classic Godzilla soundtrack as part of my collection because I'm finally branching out from just collecting action figures. Here's the box set compared to every figure I brought to school with me. And Noah. With this and the Criterion collection, I've officially reached Ultra Giga Chat Godzilla fan status.